Welcome everyone to the Legendary Faith Podcast. My name is Alyssa Massey and I'm so glad that you joined me here today. And today's episode is episode number 64, How to Find Real Rest in God in This Busy World. And I think today we can all agree that we do in fact live in a crazy, chaotic, busy world. We are so distracted by our worldly affairs, some which we may not care to do in the first place, we're also distracted that we very often forget our chosen purpose. And some folks may not even know their chosen purpose. But we all have desires and passions, and we're not even working toward them. God is all placed. God has placed a desire in all of our hearts. But if we're so distracted and frazzled by the world, it's very hard to see clearly and have any sense of peace as to what the heck we're really supposed to be doing. And since we're not doing what God has chosen us to do, we just have no peace. And then we get angry. And no one wants to live like that. And so today, I want to share with you tips on how to find real rest in God in this crazy, chaotic, busy world. And so tip number one is to find rest on your Sabbath day. Now the Sabbath day in the Bible is a seventh day, a day of rest. And I think we all need a little rest and rejuvenation. And sure you can go to the spa, get your nails done, or your hair did. However, if we do things God's way, we just may find that peace we're looking for. Because sometimes when we go after all the worldly affairs, the world's way of finding rest, we sometimes still that we find that we are still lacking in peace. And so I am suggesting that to take a Sabbath day, Jesus created the seventh day as a day of rest. And as we look to Genesis 2.23, it says, By the seventh day God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day he rested from all the work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. See, so it's okay if the creator of the universe made a day of rest. Then by golly, take a day of rest. And for you, you may not be able to take a Sunday as your day of rest, but I'm merely suggesting this as Jesus did. So your day of rest may be Friday, Monday, whatever your work schedule is. But try to do, take the example of Jesus and make Sunday a day of rest and a day of, hey fam, let's head to church or hey fam, let's watch, watch church online this week. You know, make that a day of rest and rejuvenation God's way, which is diving into the word of God and sharing it with your friends and your family. So as we do this, I think we'll find little by little as we work to actually make it a day of rest, we can find that little by little, we weed out the bad and put a little more peace into our lives. And so rest tip number two is nature immersion, which is God's sanctuary. You know, God is the creator of this earth and he created the trees and the fresh air and the sunshine. You know, science says that Sunshine, vitamin D is good for our bodies. And we get so cooped up in our office sometimes that we forget to step outside and take a fresh breath of air. I know that when I was really, really sick, you know, my husband made me go outside and to take a walk, even though that's the last thing I felt like doing. But just to get me outside and to the sunshine and get some fresh air that helps our bodies to feel better even when we're in a deep pain because often when we're in pain whether it be physical or emotional we just want to crawl underneath the covers and and put the covers over our head and just close out and shut out the world but that's not the way to achieve peace we need to be praying we need to be trying to do something and maybe maybe you can't even get out of bed but if you have a window open the window sing 
sing to God in praises, by golly. You be determined that you're going to get out of that bed and that you're going to get well. Let some light into your life and also remember, do what you can if you're sick and you can't get out of bed and you can't go out into nature. Do what you can. You still have to feed your body with good things. You're praying for healing. You're praying to be able to get outside and enjoy nature so that you can you can have the peace that you enjoy, but you still can have peace because God is with you and there are still things that can be done so that you may enjoy nature. And so Psalms 23, 1 through 3 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. So we can imagine in our minds the beauty of nature. The Bible talks many times of nature and that God refreshes our soul. His word refreshes our soul. So dive into the word, immerse yourself into nature in that way. And then go outside and enjoy it for yourself. Or simply, you know, Jesus said, be like the little child. Go to the park. A simple thing that we often forget is go to the park. Or take a drive on a country road. You just have to get start working toward something other than the crazy routine that you've been drowning yourself with. And that's been taking all your peace away. So we have to take an action plan and put it to work if we want to have peace in this crazy world. And rest tip number three is to practice spiritual affirmations. The word of God is our guide and we have to we must reframe our mind in this crazy world and so you have to set a day on your sabbath day and to practice spiritual affirmations maybe you're not familiar with the bible but if you can start in the psalms and the proverbs start simple it can begin to reframe your mind trust me on this one you know the news and everything going on in the world is taking our peace away we have to work we have to take action massive action in this moment to reframe our minds and to get on the right path which may be the narrow path that is less chosen right but it it does have a purpose and then you know that wide path that popular path that everyone is taking leads to death the bible says and so no we're not going to be like the common people driving our nose to the ground and overworking ourselves. We're going to work in some peace in our lives. And we're going to be able to have some victory in our lives and trust God in the process. And Psalm 62 5 says that, Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Our hope comes from God, but we have to get to know Him. We have to dive into the Bible recite these words in our brain and hey you know there are many spectacular bible apps the bible app download it on your phone and start there it's okay you know as as long as it's the actual bible download it and start there start highlighting those verses and get up first thing in the morning and read them over and so you can also just make notes in your phone and do this over and over. We're going to weave out the bad in our life. And we're going to start reframing our mind with the word of God. And rest tip number four. Dive into music that elevates the soul. And what kind of music are you listening to? Is it dragging you down? Because worship music can elevate your soul. And as we see in Colossians 3.16 reads, let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And so we draw closer to God, which the peace of God surpasses all understanding, as we sing songs and hymns, as we worship the God of the universe. And maybe you're thinking of traditional so psalms and hymns with the choir and all of that. And that's great. 
But if that scares you, if you think that's overwhelming or way too traditional for you, well, there are many great worship songs. And maybe you've heard of Toby Mac, a little more hip than modern. It's an excellent way to worship. Recently, we went to a Toby Mac concert, and I'm thinking of make, making it a yearly tradition. The kids, they love it. And it's just an awesome atmosphere to surround yourself with many Christian people and just seeing the Word of God. I used to love going to the Rolling Stones as a teenager. Well, I went once. And I loved my Aerosmith concert. I love music. As God has transformed my heart, I love to listen to worship music. I love to listen to Christian music. It soothes my soul and it draws me closer to God, especially in the battle of life that we are all dealing with in today's world. Worship music is soothing, and God calls us to do this. And so if you're not listening to worship music or praising God, I encourage you to try it today. Remember, we're, we're walking down the narrow path, the path less chosen. And it may be uncomfortable for you at first, but remember, with God, all things are possible. And with God, you have a spectacular purpose. And so I encourage you to start walking down that path of peace. The, all the suggestions that I've listed are ways to begin to have peace in your life. We have to weave out the bad so that we can enjoy the good. Because if you just keep consuming yourself with all this worldly chaos, you're never going to make any progress. And trust me, I've stumbled many times over and over and over again. And now I've come to the conclusion, well, it's just part of the journey. But I really thought, you know, that I would arrive at a place where it would just get a little easier. But no, in my spiritual walk, it's all about overcoming and becoming stronger and stronger and being that testimony for others. Because everyone in this crazy, chaotic world constantly needs a testimony. They need some to be able to look at someone and say, hey, this Christian, she loves God. She knows God. And I do too, but I don't think I'm going to make it. How do I overcome again and again? Does God really hear me? Does he answer my prayers? But friend, he does. Don't choose the wide path. Don't choose the path that leads to destruction. We all need a little peace, right? And I, with all my heart, pray for you and I want you to experience this peace. And I know I sometimes have to struggle to find it as well. When I get all into myself and I, and I start not trusting God and I start losing my peace again, then I get back on the wagon. And I'm encouraging that for you as well. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'm challenging you to start healthy new habits that can bring you closer to God and bring you peace. Because I understand with all my heart that it can be a struggle sometimes. And it can be hard to do the right thing and get quiet with God. But I understand also that the enemy desperately wants us to be distracted and not go into that place, that, that prayer closet, that prayer room, or in your own head. He doesn't want you to get quiet with God. But I'm here and I'm going to keep sharing with you this former rock star this former girl that used to love Aerosmith and the Rolling Stones and party like a rock star. Yes, I'm worshiping Toby Mac today. And I'm still making it groovy, being groovy with it, right? I'm still rocking. But I'm rocking today with a little more peace. And I'm okay with that. You know, and I, when you start to experience a peace that surpasses all understanding, the people, they come to you. When they get to that spot where they're out of out of hope and don't know what to do they remember you and so I want you to remember this today and I'm telling you personally it's been it's been pretty rough but I'm going to keep it on and I'm going to keep rooting for you and praying for you and thank you for joining me on this episode and I'll be back many times more because I'm never giving up and I never want you to give up as well I'm rooting for, rooting for you thank you for joining me today Goodbye.